G'day guys, Dean Sylvester here. I want to run through the importance of prop selection. I'll touch on briefly my experiences with my boat and my outboard. I'll then give you some basic information about props, as well as tools you can use to help select the right prop for your boat, as well as the information that you need to arm yourself before you go into the process of repropping your boat or even setting up a new boat with a new prop. When you're initially pairing your outboard with a new prop, it's kind of a genie in a bottle scenario. You have to be careful what you wish for. Be very specific about what you want out of the motor or out of your boat motor package. So I'm running a 20 foot bay boat and a 175 Pro XS. Initially, I wanted this boat to be set up for maximum fuel economy. The prop that the dealer set up my boat with was an Inertia Eco 16 pitch by 16.5. When I took my boat out for its initial run, fuel economy was amazing as I had asked for. But one drama that I did have, being a bay boat, I have little to no dead rise and I couldn't keep the nose of my boat in unless I was going relatively fast, particularly too fast for the ocean conditions that I was in. To rectify all those dramas, I invested in trim tabs, which locking them down to keep my nose down, decreased my fuel economy. I tried to transfer some weight around in my boat, but eventually what I learned in the long run was that the prop that I had installed was a bow lift prop. So essentially that prop is designed to lift the bow on a boat, which in my scenario, being a bay boat, no dead rise, that is the last thing that I particularly need. So after chatting to my local dealer and using the Mercury prop selection tool, I landed on the Revolution 4. We decided on a 17 by 14.5 pitch prop, which means it is a larger pitch prop, but a smaller diameter prop. But the key thing for me with the Revo 4 is that it is a stern lift prop. So it is now lifting the stern of my boat rather than lifting the bow, which is ideal for the setup that I have. Since switching over to the four blade now, I'm able to cruise at lower speeds on the plane. I can also get up on the plane a lot quicker and I'm now keeping the nose down and able to actively use my trim. I rarely find myself using my trim tabs anymore and not using my trim tabs is also another plus for fuel economy. Obviously, if you're pushing the trim tabs down to keep your nose down, you're then putting more load on the motor, more drag and using more fuel. Purely just using them now to correct any sideways swell or crosswind motion. So my boat motor package now is performing better than it ever has before. Some basic understandings about props. The more blades you have in a prop, the less vibration you have. So essentially, a five blade prop is a lot smoother than a three blade prop. When it comes to pitch and diameter, some basic or general rules for those is the larger the diameter, typically the slower the boat. The larger the pitch, typically the faster the boat. So if you're looking for a fast prop or a fast boat, you're gonna have a higher pitch, smaller diameter. If you have a heavier, slower boat, you will have a bigger diameter and a smaller pitch. So the prop diameter is the distance basically from tip to tip. You imagine if it's spinning in a circular motion, the most outer edges of that circle, that is your prop diameter. The prop pitch is the distance traveled forward in a perfect scenario or in a solid matter. So as this prop would rotate forwards, it is going to essentially drive forwards the distance of the pitch. So in this case, this is a 17 inch prop. So one rotation of the prop, this prop will drive forward 17 inches. So if you're looking to improve the performance of your boat by upgrading your prop, there are a couple of things you can do. You can jump online to the Mercury prop selection tool, enter the details of your boat, and it will give you a range or a scope of props to suit your situation. Better still, go in and have a chat to your local dealer. But before you go into your local dealer, arm yourself with some information about your boat. What is the maximum revs that your boat will do at full throttle? What are the inadequacies that you wanna improve or replace on your boat? Is it using too much fuel? Does it struggle to get on the plane? Does it struggle to keep the nose down? Those bits of information will help your local dealer give you the right prop. So if you're looking at improving the performance of your boat by upgrading your prop, remember all boat motor packages are unique. What has worked for me, going from a three blade to a four blade, may or may not help you. So it's best to go in and have a chat to your local dealer, get them to give you the options that best suit your boat motor package to give you the best performance out of your boat.